not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk a lot. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Roblox is garbage right now. I hate Roblox. I haven't made a video in almost a month now, and I apologize, but it's because there has been nothing to talk about. There has been nothing to talk about, nothing to play, nothing to do, because Roblox is trash. I'm gonna get straight into this. Here's why Roblox is so trash. So obviously the age demographics of Roblox tell us that people between the age of 9 and 12 are the people who play Roblox the most. People ages 17 and older have been the highest growing demographic, but kids will always be in the lead. This is why Roblox is trash. I'm not trying to target the child community. Uh, Y'all are cool, I guess, but bro, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like kids are gonna start getting dumber, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I think kids are gonna start getting a little more stupid. I'm gonna take a quick look at the front page of Roblox. Roblox. All right, so the first thing I see is toilet tower defense. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Forget anime Roblox. I typically make anime Roblox videos, but I'm gonna just include all Roblox games in this. Every single game on Roblox right now is garbage. Besides like what Shonen Smash, Shonen Smash is, is, is all right, I guess. But that's a game I played for like a day and hopped off. Roblox has slowly became a hated game by me. I, I, I just hate Roblox now. There's nothing on the game that's good. When developers drop games, the games are bandit beaters. And one of the most popular games on the platform, Blox Fruits, is like, it's just one of the biggest games and it's influencing so many other developers. I have no problem with developers making money. That's fine. You can do whatever you need to do to get the bag. But bro, let's be real, bro. Nobody's trying to play Skibbity Tower Defense, bro. Who's trying to play that, bro? Besides, like, kids below the age of 10, bro. If you want a good game suggestion, if you haven't played this game yet, play Arcane Odyssey. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good game, and it's probably, like, the last good game on Roblox right now. I can't think of anything else. Type Soul is trash right now because, you know, the game fell off. Block Fruits is obviously terrible, I mean, because it's Block Fruits. The only game that's on my mind right now is Rail Seas. That's the only game I'm waiting for. Rail Seas drops, then I'll be chill. I'll be happy with that. Jujutsu Shenanigans is not even trash. The game is just getting boring, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there's only one developer for the game, and it's probably like one of the last good games on Roblox, but it's kind of like hard to explain when I say this, but Battlegrounds games are typically boring after like a few weeks of playing. This game lasted longer for me though, like a few months of playing Jujutsu Shenanigans is when it got boring. It's still a good game nonetheless, it's very uh, creative and it has its own type of spin on things. Realm Rampage, I'm pretty sure it's dying because it has 20k, it had like 80k a little while ago, not 80k, like 60k-ish. Roblox is terrible and it's because of the collaboration of two groups of people. Money hungry devs and little kids. If I'm being honest, the little kids, they're just they're just doing what they want, you know what I'm saying? There's definitely things that I did when I was younger that could be considered brain rot. So I don't even get mad at people for watching Skibbity Toilet and uh, Baby Gronk raising up Livy Dunn and Hawk Tua, all that stuff. That's the new uh, brain rot stuff. Like there's definitely brain rot stuff from when I was a kid, like peanut butter jelly time and uh, what, where, what the fox say and all that type of stuff. But this stuff has corrupted the Roblox platform. And the developers, they're kind of smart, I'm not gonna lie. Going on Roblox where there's mostly kids and making brain rot games is basically like going in the desert and setting up a water factory. The little kids are fiending to play these games. I'm actually thinking of making one myself, bro. Pedro Skibbity Tower Defense. That don't make me millions, maybe even billions. Man, yeah, not nah, so these developers are smart. They're using what they know to make money. I'm not hating on them, I'm just saying Roblox is trash because of it. Yeah, the Roblox platform is filled with three different types of games right now. Battlegrounds games, specifically anime Battlegrounds games. Not gonna lie, those games are pretty trash. After a while, you play them and you're like, okay, this is boring. Heroes Battlegrounds is carried mostly, no offense to the developers or anyone who likes the game, but the game is carried heavily by its VFX and that's not a bad thing. It's a Battlegrounds game, it's supposed to have the same exact combat or like similar combat to every other Battlegrounds game. I'm not gonna lie, the effects is really what makes a Battlegrounds game. If you have a Battlegrounds game with dookie effects, no one's gonna play it. The combat in every single Battlegrounds game is pretty much the same. It usually has the same amount of skills. So if all those skills just look trash, no one's gonna play the game because it's gonna look dookie. That's why Saitama Battlegrounds and Heroes Battlegrounds and all these different games are so popular because you post a clip on TikTok of you doing some crazy impact frame move on a random bump and it gets billions of views. And people are like, oh, I gotta play this one. I mean, I can't blame them because sometimes it happens to me too. I see clips of games and I'm like, okay, maybe I can check this out and make a video on it. And then I end up playing it and the game is trash. All right, next up we got RNG type of games. There's really no way you could ever convince me to play an RNG type of game unless you gave me like some type of monetary prize. I'm gonna just tell you this right now. If you guys ever catch me playing an RNG game on this channel, it's because I got paid to. I'm dead serious. I will never ever of my own will for free play an RNG game. Never in my entire life will I ever do that. If you don't know what an RNG is, I'm gonna explain it real quick. RNG means random number generator. So basically it's a luck based uh, randomized game where you can based off of your luck, 
get a random item or a random skill or a random whatever that junk is so garbage i don't care who i offend with this usually i say no offense no i mean all the offense all the rng devs i hate your games bro i mess with the, de the devs are cool you know what i'm saying get your bag but your games are dookie i don't care if you enjoy rng games you gotta have at least like two brain cells in your head there's no possible way you could possibly enjoy these games while being a normal functioning human being i can't i can't i refuse to believe it bro like when i first heard of souls rng i saw the people on it so i was like oh okay this has to be good right because i didn't know what rng was i hopped on a game tell me why i see people standing still bro with aura around their body bro i'm like what is this this junk look trash bro so I figure out what an RNG is, I immediately hop off the game. Because that junk was dookie. I can't I can't play that. Nobody nobody in their right mind is gonna play that game. Last but not least, we got the Bandit Beater games. In the beginning of the video, I talked about the Brain Rot games, but that's a given. Bandit Beater games are kind of similar to Brain Rot because these also rot your brain. These are the games where the main form of progression is by beating up NPCs to progress to another level. I don't care if your game is good looking or it's bad looking, whatever. If the only way to progress in your game is by beating up NPCs, then the chances of the game doing well is like 50 50. if you're trying to get little kids to play it then your game might make millions if you're trying to get normal not normal people sorry if you're trying to get teenagers or people above the age of like 13 to play it most likely the game will do very very bad i'm not gonna lie the reason why it's obvious little kids don't understand what good progression is they hop on games like blocks fruits and what, what's the other one king's legacy whatever they hop on these games and they play them because they like they like the VFX, they like the prize and reward of doing something easy and simple to get to the next level. I think it's very, very stupid. And I used to be the type of person to play these games all the time until I started to realize like this is trash. I was like playing Blasters one day. I got to level like a thousand and I was like, bro, I'm low-key a weirdo. I started working out more. I'm not joking. My life genuinely became better after hopping off that game. I'm so dead serious. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Roblox is in a terrible state right now. The game is filled with Brain Rock games, Bandit Beater games, RNG games, Battlegrounds games, and all these games are equally trash. Unironically, the best game on the platform right now is Dress to Impress. Unironically, I'm not trolling. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna see y'all on the next one, I guess.